Hi, I am Kimberly Ulugimber from BIT ET1. Now, I ask three students to merely give their thoughts or ideas about what is the or what is their perspective about politics and political leaders. So first, let's have Mary Grace Ulugimber. Good day. I am Mary Grace Ulugimber. I am currently studying at the Cebu Technological University, Naga Extension Campus, and I am now a third year level. So my perspective about politics and political leaders is that every political leader starts with a platform, a series of ideas and ideals that um, set the individuals apart from his peers. All of us have the human tendency to be in a mood of a particular leader, mostly political leader. In all cases, that particular leader must be having uh, some qualities which appeal to us overwhelmingly. We crave leaders that are seemingly without fault. There is a sense of wholeness when a fully equipped leader is found. So, integrity is what fills the gap and keeps us the gut feeling that guides our decisions. Therefore, as a student observer of politics and a son to be a voter, the trait of integrity stands out. When my time comes to vote on a leader, my influence for my decision will come from the integrity of the candidates. A leader should show integrity on and off the media screen. He should follow through the promises that he makes and keep his people at the forefront of his mind. Thank you, Mary Chris, for sharing your great perspective about the said topic. Now, let's hear the thoughts of Gwyneth Umayao. I am Justine Gruneth Omayo, currently studying at Cebu Normal University with a course of Bachelor of Elementary Education. For me, politics is activities associated with the governance of a country or other area, especially the debate or conflict among individuals or parties having or hoping to achieve power. It is usually about setting a country or a place for good and planning for better steps in how to make its economy grow. Politics also tackles about how to properly rule its citizens, meeting their needs and expectations. On the other hand, political leaders are those who are given the chance to rule a country. They are those who perform politics and hold on seats in a government. They carry the burden of the country like conflicts and issues, and they find ways to solve it for the safety of the citizens and the country itself. Political leaders are those who are chosen by the people because they believe that they can bring better lives for them. Thank you, Gwen, for sharing your thoughts or mindful thoughts about the said topic. And the last but not the least, let's have Angelina Sandroy to share her idea about it. Hi, good day. I am Angeline Castillo Sandoy, currently studying at University of Cebu Main Campus, taking up the course of Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in Mathematics. And I like the questions that you have been asked to me about my insights or perceptions about politics or political leaders here in our country, Philippines, while as a learner, when we think about politics, there will be a lot of ideas will come in our mind. But when I think it generally, the things that I have come to realize that when we say politics, it is a set of activities that are associated with specific groups with a common goal of for the betterment of its society. So moving on to our politics here in our country, we often observe that our politics is composed of a leader and its member with a goal of distributing the common goods and addressing the needs of its people. So now, let's talk about my insights about political leaders. So we all know that our country now 
now needs the best leader since we are currently facing or bottling about the COVID-19 virus. So that is why as a learner, we should use our voice to give awareness to all people, especially the younger ones, to choose the best leader so that we can have a society where we can love each and other highly appreciated and heard. So that is all and thank you. Thank you, Angeline, for sharing your wonderful idea about the Sanitary.